there was a skunk in the road. Mm, skunk in the morning. I think I picked up some bad gas along the way. So I'm in the middle of essentially nowhere, Pennsylvania. Well, I am in the beautiful Bald Eagle State Forest. I just came off a section of road that was had no paint on it. Good morning. I am getting all packed up, ready to head out, hit the road. Uh, I thought I'd show you the Moscow luggage all laid out. I've got to go throw that on the bike. And right here is my chicken scratch directions. Sat here this morning and I'm only, I've only created directions for halfway today because I'm at a crossroads. I don't know how I'm going to feel if I'm going to if I'm going to want to dig into the heartland of the uh, Pennsylvania forest lands, because they're pretty rugged. Um, and I have a destination. I have to be somewhere tonight. And then I have to go to work on Monday morning, so I can't be too, like, wiped out. So I wish I had weeks to do this, but I only have two days. So and today's day two. So... Um, let me go on, get things packed up. I'm going to go check out the hotel breakfast to see if there's anything I can eat with all my allergies. Probably not, but we'll go have a look anyway. So I managed to get a little breakfast. There were some eggs and sausage. I hope I don't get sick. The breakfast bar is really crowded this morning, so I couldn't, I didn't feel comfortable getting video in there, but there you go. We're gonna eat some breakfast and we're gonna go hit the road. Okay, all packed up. Well, sort of. There's my backpack. And I'm ready to go. Um, the couple that has these two motorcycles said it's gonna rain today, but that doesn't matter because I am riding regardless. So, um, we're gonna go on out, we're gonna hit the road, uh, look for maybe some place to grab some tea. I had a little tea at breakfast. Um, maybe that's enough, we'll see. Bye-bye. Oh, except my phone is still in my, hold up. I can feel my phone. Should not have a phone in my pocket. It's a bad feeling. See, I get talking. So that gentleman you just saw there, his name is Bob. He's been a rider all his life. He ended up getting a trike so he can take his wife riding. And uh, he's still wanting to get himself a, a two-wheel bike because he enjoys riding by himself as well. She doesn't always want to ride with him. I tell you, he was the nicest, nicest man. I also met another nice couple at breakfast a great conversation and those are honestly meeting people like that and talking to them and hearing their stories that's really the highlight of being out on the road for me um well one of the highlights because obviously i love the scenery i love the feeling of riding but meeting people That's why I'm late. Look, it's almost 8 o'clock. It's 10 minutes to 8. I shouldn't be leaving this late. But I got talking to so many people. And I am not comfortable just whipping out the GoPro to get video of chatting with these folks because they're private conversations and it's not like they necessarily want to be on the internet. You just have to trust me. I met some fabulous, fabulous people this morning. Had some great conversations. Okay, so now... Oh, there was a skunk in the road. Mm, skunk in the morning. That'll make you feel alive. This is the cute little town of Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. Look at this. I 
think back down that street might be where the springs are. I really should spend a day here sometime. Hancock 8, okay, I'm going to Hancock. I made a mistake and blew right past my Hancock entrance. Pennsylvania Ave, here we go. Off the, I was so enamored with the, the bridge over the Potomac that I totally screwed up getting into Hancock. And I meant to come this way. I turned my GoPro a little late. I didn't realize how cute that other side of Hancock is. Oh my God. Yeah, this is a this is a happening little town. I like this place. I grew up on the border of New York and PA. I'm used to little towns that look like this, and already I have that overwhelming sense of like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm home. <laughs> so, and honestly, we're not that far from PA. We're on the western side of Maryland, so you know, if you look on a map, you'll see it's like a little sliver. There's not much to cross over from West Virginia. To Maryland to Pennsylvania so don't blink. I crossed over to Pennsylvania um, just a little bit ago. Like literally as soon as I was ending my little portion of talking about oh you're only in Maryland for just a little bit don't blink blammo I'm in PA like right as soon as I turned off the camera. So it really is a very short the route that I take is it just just in there just for a little tiny tiny section it's a little foggy up here on the mountain I took a road called Timber Ridge Road little tip for you anytime you can pick a road that ends in Ridge Ridge Road chances are you're gonna be on top of the mountain running the ridge of the mountain, the ridge back of it. And I didn't get it on the GoPro, but back behind me just a little bit was the peak. Well, it's all the peak because we're running the ridge, but it was a really good high point with wide open views into the valley down on either side. So I am literally on the ridge and it goes down on both sides. And you could see the fog in the valleys and the, the, the fields and the other mountains and the cows. But now I've already started to descend a little bit, so you can see I'm in the fog. A little bit, not bad. This is, this is easy fog. Yeah, you can see a little bit over here. It's nowhere near the spectacular view I had a minute ago. I hate that I didn't turn on my GoPro back there. But I was so caught up in it, just looking. Sorry, I saw a bush. Just a long bush on the side of the road kind of looked like it was either a cow or a bear. So I am in the middle of essentially nowhere, Pennsylvania. Stopped on this cute little bridge. I just came from that direction. I'm headed that way. I can't take my hands off my bars long enough to press my GoPro buttons to show you some of the twisty turns and that's a shame because there are some amazing amazing roads out here just beautiful beautiful countryside let's fire it back up and hit the road once again I had to stop and put on some rain gear it started raining figures by the time I got all the rain gear back on. Yep, stopped raining. But you can never tell. Look at this. I mean, these 
roads are just gorgeous. Yeah, you kind of got to watch out for gravel in the road. And these gravel driveways washing out. But has any road in the mountains out on the East Coast. Wow, this is the first car I've seen in a long time this morning. things about taking 522 is right here in Lewistown trying to figure out what the hell are we doing here I don't know where it is I think we have to cross over down here and the signs get so freaking confusing now we're going north I think we just stay straight just freaking stay straight yes that up coming south one time I stopped there and then I got all kinds of messed up all right we should be good to go now welcome to Lewistown PA beautiful bald eagle state forest I just came off of a section of road that was had no paint on it so it looks like this these roads have all been recently repaved thought I'd give you a little taste of the beautiful Pennsylvania mountains. Pennsylvania has some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful state lands. Um, it's really nice to see these nicely paved roads up here because a lot of the roads you can get on are just, you know, gravel fire roads. Which are awesome. They maintain those really well too, but when they get them all paved like this, boy, you can just kind of sail around. Here we go, leaving Bald Eagle State Forest. and buggies my gosh those Amish horses they just <sighs> I mean they get work so they know these people know how to train their horses and those horses just pull those buggies with just such beauty they're high stepping oh, beautiful So I think I picked up some bad gas along the way. I had a gas stop that I was at that um, gas pump was running really slow, like really slow. It took me several minutes to fill my tank and it wasn't, my tank wasn't empty. I only got like 1.25 gallons of gas and it took several minutes. And then 
after that, my bike's been <laughs> kind of coughing and acting up a little bit at low speeds. It's not so bad at high speeds, but it feels a little iffy. Like I got bad gas or I got a, you know, sediment in the fuel line, clogged fuel filter, but I can't imagine that's the case. It's probably more... I don't know. It seems to be okay. It's just... I had a stretch there that it was feeling really bizarre. And now that I'm back slowed down again in another town, I can feel it again. See? Did you feel that? I'm just holding the throttle steady. just coughs once in a while. It cuts out and comes back on. Very weird. Alright buddy, let's go. Make me hanging in the intersection. Ooh, there's a pretty one. beautiful Amish country, Pennsylvania. It has been a beautiful first half of my day. I enjoyed everything I saw and felt and the people were amazing along the route. And there's a lot more to come in day two. So I decided I would just kind of split it up into two different videos for you. So um, I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you come along for the ride and see the remainder of day two on this trip. Um, and then in the future, I've got more videos from the trip coming, um, a little bit from my time while I spent in New York with my folks, and then there'll be two more days of riding to come back to finish the shakedown of both the bike and the gear, and um, yeah, a lot more's happened along the way, so I really hope you stay tuned. So please like and subscribe, comment. I love getting comments. I'm not getting any comments yet because my channel's so new, so... I would love to get some comments and uh, I hope you stay tuned and come along for the next video with Adventures with Dirt Ponies.